Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hope so everyone is fine and good Myself Sheikh Ishtiaq Once again with one more topic for class 7th And today Today's topic is respiratory system in humans Dear students Like other animals Humans too have specially designed respiratory organs All these organs together form the respiratory system the human respiratory system consists of two parts respiratory tract and respiratory organ called lungs respiratory tract consists of nodes nasal passage pharynx larynx trachea and the lungs it consists of bronchus bronchioles alveoli okay dear students the nose is the first part of the human respiratory system our nose has two holes in it which are called nostrils there is a passage in the nose behind the nostrils which is called a nasal passage or we can say it nasal cavity you can see in the diagram air enters the nose through the through two nostrils and reaches the nasal cavity here the air is warmed and filtered in nasal cavity the air that we inhale is warmed and filtered filtered the hairs present in the nostril stop the dust or germs from entering the human respiratory system. So, if you have to write down what are the functions of the hairs that are present in the nose, the function of those hairs that are present in the nose are to stop the dust or germs from entering the human respiratory system. The air is drawn through the nostrils present in the nose from nasal cavity air enters into the pharynx pharynx is also called the throat in scientific term we can use in scientific we can use pharynx the nasal cavity leads an organ called pharynx from the pharynx the air passes into a chamber called larynx from pharynx the air passes into a chamber called larynx but dear students here you have to remember the phoenix is that part of the human respiratory system through which food also passes or we can say this phoenix is the common passage for human respiratory system and the human digestive system the food pipe that is on the back side of the windpipe or we can say the trachea is in front of the oesophagus. Oesophagus is also known as food pipe and trachea is known as wind pipe. But what happens at that time when we eat food? When we eat food, there is one more part above the trachea that covers the trachea at that time when, when we eat food. What is this trachea? Uh, what is the trachea? At the top the trachea is a tube which is commonly known as windpipe. The air comes from the nostrils during breathing, passes from trachea. Trachea does not collapse even when there is no air in it because this trachea it is supported by a rings. Those rings are of soft bones or we can say the, for those soft bones we can use a the term these soft bones these are made up of cartilages cartilages are soft bones the upper end of the trachea has a voice box called a larynx so we here we, we know that also that larynx is also called a voice box the opening of the pharynx into larynx is guarded by a wall called epiglottis here is the epiglottis what is this epiglottis at the top of trachea is a flap of cartilage soft bone called epiglottis at the top of the trachea as you can see in the diagram at the top of the trachea there is a flap of cartilage or we can say there is a soft bone called epiglottis what is the function of this epiglottis that is present in the human respiratory system or that can play an important role in the human respiratory system the function of epiglottis is to cover the mouth of trachea or cover the mouth of windpipe when we swallow food so that food may not enter the trachea or wind pipe.
in this way the nasal passage and pharynx join the nostrils to the windpipe kya hai iski function epiglottis ki function yahi hai ki jab bhi hum khana khate hain is epiglottis ki wajah se trachea jo upar se band hota hai taki jo hum food khaye wo is trachea mein na jaye ओके वो फूड सीधे डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में और वी कैन से फूड पाइप के थ्रू सीधे डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम में या स्टोमक में जाए यहाँ पे हमें दो फायरिक्स और लाइनिक्स से पहले वो एक पार्ट आता है उस पार्ट को हम ग्लोटिस कहते हैं उसके बाद आता है विंड पाइप The windpipe is a delicate muscular tube situated in the front of oesophagus. This windpipe, this is a delicate muscular tube situated in the front of the oesophagus or the windpipe. It is called, it is also called trachea. इससे हम trachea भी कहते हैं, windpipe को हम trachea भी कहते हैं. Larynx के, pharynx और larynx के बाद trachea आता है. Trachea It is 12 centimeter in length. Its length is 12 centimeter, and 2.5 centimeter, 2.5 centimeter in diameter. The windpipe is divided into two parts called bronchi as it enters the lungs. जब भी windpipe आप चिक डायग्राम में देख सकते हो, जो ही ये lungs में enter करती है, ये दो हिस्सों में divide होती है. Dear students, the upper end of the trachea has a voice box called a larynx. The trachea runs down the neck and divides into two smaller tubes called a bronchi. You can see in the structure, the trachea is divided into two that is known as bronchi. At its lower end, the singular of bronchi is called a bronchus. The bronchi is connected to two lungs. The bronchi they are connected to two lungs. The lungs lie in the chest cavity. These lungs are present in the chest cavity, or we can say they are present in the thoracic cavity, which is separated from the abdominal cavity. This thoracic cavity that is separated from the abdominal cavity by a muscular partition. Mar partition. Dear students, the lungs are covered by a two thin membranes called a pleura. You can see that bronchi and bronchioles. The trachea that is divided into two bronchi. When a person takes in a breath of air, the air travels towards the nose or mouth into the larynx and then into the trachea, which is a main passageway of into the lungs. The trachea divides into a right and the left main bronchus. Trachea two hisum mein right bronchus and left bronchus. Each major bronchus then subdivides into smaller airway passages. Smaller are these known as bronchioles. As the airway passes makes the airway out of the lung tissue, the passage becomes smaller and are referred to as bronchioles. It means that the small bronchi that are divided into bronchioles. We know that. From the trachea there arises two bronchi and from each bronchi there arises different number of bronchioles. And now the last part from each bronchiole there is a balloon like shaped structure called alveoli sac. This is the only place where gas exchange takes place. Only gas exchange takes place in the alveoli sac. It is a cluster of air sacs, tiny spongy sacs. You can see in the structure, this is a cluster of air sacs, or we can say tiny spongy sacs. Surrounding each alveolus is a pulmonary capillary bed, or we can say blood vessels. These green structures are the green thread-like or red thread-like structures. As you can see in the diagram, they are blood vessels. Alveolus are very thin-walled. They have a single layer of pneumatocytes. This is for rapid diffusion of gases. The thin layer of pneumatocytes that are present there, this is for the rapid diffusion of gases. Average adult has more than 300 million alveoli in each lung. Ek average adult may 
تین ہنڈریڈ تین سو ملین ایلولے ہوتے ہیں ہر ایک لنگ میں چلڈرنس ہیو اباؤٹ ٹوینٹی ملین ان ایچ چلڈرنس کو ٹوینٹی ملین ان ایچ لنگ میں پریزنٹ ہوتے ہیں Dear students, diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscular muscle at the bottom of the lungs. At the bottom of the lungs is a dome-shaped muscle, controls breathing and separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. This separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. When air gets taken in, it tightens and moves downwards, making more space for the lungs to fill with air and expands. جود ایکسیلیشن جب ہم ایکسیلیشن کرتے ہیں that it expands and compresses the lungs it expands and compresses it compresses the lungs and forcing out air forcing out air so here we know that diaphragm contracts or we can say moves down during inhalation or we can say during exhalation it relaxes and moves upwards same when air is inhaled rib cage the bones that are present in the chest we could that present in the chest we call that rib cage when air is inhaled rib cage expands as rib muscles contracts rib cage expand hota hai kyunki ribs mein jo muscles present hote hain wo contract ho jate hain air when we exhale air rib cage gets smaller as rib muscles relax rib muscles kya relax ho jate hain rib cage smaller ho jata hai is matlab space jo hote hain wo kam ho jata hai ڈیورنگ ایکسیلیشن تو یہاں پہ ہمیں یہ پتہ چلے گا کہ بریدنگ کیسے ہو رہے ہیں ہم بریدنگ ان اینڈ بریدنگ آؤٹ کیسے کر رہے ہیں یا اس پارٹ کا جو پارٹ بٹوین دا ایبڈامل کیوٹی اینڈ چیسٹ کیوٹی کے بیچ میں پریزنٹ ہے ڈیاکرم اس کا فنکشن کیا ہے یا بریدنگ ان اور بریدنگ آؤٹ میں یہ کیا رول ادا کرتا ہے when we breathe in air the diaphragm and muscles to the ribs contract due to which our chest cavity expands diaphragm and jo muscles hai jo iske sath attach hote hain wo contract karte hain contract ho jate hain jiski wajah se hamara chest cavity jo hai wo expand hota hai this expansion movement of chest cavity increases the volume inside the chest cavity ڈیوٹ انکریز ان وولیوم جب وولیوم بڑھ جاتا ہے انکریز ہو جاتا ہے دا آئر پریشر ڈیکریزز انسائیڈ دا چیسٹ کیوٹی آئر کا جو پریشر ہوتا ہے چیسٹ کیوٹی کے اندر ڈیکریز ہو جاتا ہے اینڈ آئر فرام آؤٹ سائیڈ رشس انٹو دا لنگس سو باہر سے آئر رشس انٹو دا لنگس تھرو نوشٹلس کے وجہ سے نوشٹلس تر کے تھرو آتا ہے آفٹر دیٹ ایٹ پاس دا ٹرائکیا اینڈ دا برونگے اینڈ ایٹ لاشٹ ایٹ دا آئر دیٹ ایس پریزنٹ ان دا الیولی سیک وائر دا ڈیفیوجن takes place in this way during the process of breathing in the air sacs or alveoles of the lungs the air sacs and the alveoles of the lungs gets filled with air containing oxygen from here the alveoles of the lungs oxygen that is present is there diffuses into the blood for carrying out respiration as you can see in the diagram every part of the human respiration is labeled there at the last from bronchioles at every bronchiole there is a balloon shaped light structure that is known as alveoli or we can say it air sacs the transport we can say the passage of oxygen from alveoli into the bullet takes place at that at the below there is a sheet of muscles diaphragm which separates the chest cavity which separates the chest cavity from the which separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity now when we breathe out air the diaphragm and the muscles attached to the ribs relax 
जो इसके रिब्स के साथ मसल्स अटैच होते हैं वो रिलैक्स हो जाते हैं ड्यू टू विच आवर चेस्ट क्यूटी जिसकी वजह से जो हमारी टेस्ट क्यूटी है कंट्रैक्ट एंड बिकेम स्माल वो सोटी हो जाती है दिस कंट्रैक्शन मूवमेंट ऑफ द चेस्ट क्यूटी पुशस आउट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जिसकी वजह से क्या जो कंट्रैक्शन मूवमेंट होती है इसकी वजह से जो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जो डेट इज पुशड आउट फ्राम द लंग्स इन टू ट्रैकिया आफ्टर दैट इट प्रोसेस इन टू नो स्टिल एंड दैन गो आउट ऑफ द बॉडी इन टू द एयर डियर स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन सी द डायग्राम रेस्पिरेटरी कंसेस ऑफ नोट्रल्स नोस्टल्स अगेन आई रिपीट इट अगेन नो रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रेक कंसेस ऑफ नोस्टल्स एंड नेजल पैसेज नोस्टल्स टेक इन ऑक्सीजन फ्राम द एनवायरमेंट द गैस पास थ्रू द नेजल पैसेज टू टू द विंड पाइप द टू नोस्टल चैम्बर्स हैव हीयर्स इन दम द फंक्शन ऑफ दोज हीयर्स इज टू रिमूव द डस्ट पार्टिकल्स दैट एंटर इन टू द नोस्टल्स फ्राम विद आयर आयर एंटर्स फ्राम नोजल चैम्बर इन टू ए कामन एंट्रेंस फॉर फूड एंड आयर कॉल्ड फायरिंग्स एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट दिस फायरिंग्स दैट इज शोन हियर इन द डायग्राम दिस इज द कामन पैसेज फॉर बहुत एयर एंड फूड From here, air enters the front pipe called the wind pipe that is also known as trachea. From here, the air enters into the wind pipe that is also called the trachea, as shown in the structure here. Dear sir, trachea leads into two branches called trachea leads into two branches called bronchi. This is the first bronchi. This is the second bronchi. and each bronchi is divided into a number of bronchioles these we can say here that each bronchi is divided into a number of smaller tubular like structures these tube like structures are called bronchioles these are the bronchioles so hum ye kahenge lungs mein kon kon sa part aata hai ek to bronchus bhi aata hai ek to bronchioles bhi aata hai alveolar sac bhi aata hai is पूरे के लिए हम एक ही टर्म लंगस इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं इसलिए मैंने पहले ही कहा था कि रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम दो हिस्सों में तकसीम किया है अप रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक एंड द रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन कार्ड लंग्स रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक नोज से स्टार्ट होके ट्राइकिया तक आता है और ट्राइकिया के बाद ब्रोंकस ब्रोंकस ब्रोंकियोल्स एलवलोसेक दैट इज द रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन कार्ड लंग्स ट्राइकिया और फायरिक्स के बीच में लायरिक्स भी आता है जिसे हम वॉइस बैक्स कहते हैं और वॉइस बॉक्स के ऊपर और एक पार्ट आता है दैट इज़ एपिगलोटिस दैट इज़ ए कार्टलेज और वी कैन से दैट इज़ अ सॉफ्ट बोन द फंक्शन ऑफ दैट एपिगलोटिस इज टू कवर द विंड पाइप वैन वी सेवल फूड और कवर द विंड पाइप एट वैन वी सेवल फूड इन द बिलो दिस इज द diaphragm sheet of muscle which helps during breathing in and breathing out that i have explained earlier in this lecture dear students lungs are the respiratory organ of human beings which are present in the chest cavity you can see here in the diagram the lungs are enclosed in the rib cage which protects and supports them the rib cage that is present which protects and supports them the pair of lungs are present on either side of the heart that we can see say that the heart that is present in between the two lungs in the chest cavity below the lungs is present a dome shaped muscular sheet that is there dome shaped sheet of muscle that is present there so we can say that the air moves from nose to the nasal cavity then it passes to pharynx then it passes to larynx then last trachea then bronchi then bronchioles at last it is present in the alveolar sac where this air which are rich in oxygen are transported to the blood by pulmonary vein or we can say transported to each and every cell of the body by the pulmonary veins when the air containing oxygen reaches alveoli 
the oxygen is diffused into the blood that oxygen is diffused in the blood and combines with the hemoglobin we know that there are three types of cells that are present in that are uh, in the blood rbcs wbcs and platelets in rbcs there the nuclei is absent there nucleus is not present there there is a hemoglobin there is a protein hemoglobin the oxygen that binds to this protein hemoglobin and transported to each and every cell of the body and four oxygen molecule four oxygen molecule can bind to a single hemoglobin we can say ek hemoglobin ke sath four char oxygen molecule bind ho sakte hain this oxy hemoglobin is carried to various parts of the body giving them energy by breaking down food ab yahan pe jab respiration hoti hai har ek cell mein kya hota hai the carbon dioxide that is released reaches the alveoli through the pulmonary artery wo pe yahan pe aapko yaad ye yaad rakhna hai ki pulmonary vein ke through oxygenated blood ko transport kiya jata hai agar carbon dioxide blood yahan jisko hum kya kehte hain deoxygenated blood jis pe carbon dioxide ki concentration hoti hai zyada hoti hai wo through dear students this pleura this is a double layered protective membrane of the lungs this is a membrane that protects the lungs pleural fluid is seen in between the membranes this pleura is a double membrane and between the two membranes there is a fluid that is present the pleural fluid seen in between the membranes layer prevents friction between lungs and the walls of the thoracic cavity this prevents the friction between the lungs and the walls of the thoracic cavity it is the diagram you can see is outer membrane is known as parietal pleura the inner membrane is known as visceral pleura and in between is a cavity that is known as pleural cavity in which the pleural fluid is present